I feel a bit guilty in a way because I have enjoyed it, especially at the beginning. When it was very hot, I came out early in the morning, half past six, seven o'clock, and walking in the woods here at Tidsley Wood, there was nobody else about, and it was quiet. There was just bird song, But I did one day see a woodpecker just perched on the edge of a tree before it saw me and flew off. The bluebells were beautiful, really fabulous. And then a little later on, orchids, and all these beautiful orchids amongst the bluebells as well. Really lovely. In the orchard adjoining the wood, I did come up here and do some scrub clearance. And it was absolutely fabulous with all the trees, plum trees mostly, in blossom and the bees buzzing about. I spent as much time sitting under the trees as I did actually doing the scrub clearance. I'm always picking up odd bits of wood, funny shaped bits, and seed heads and things like that as well. I just think they're beautiful. I've got some, they're from um, Chinese lanterns, and the outer bit has gone like a skeleton. You can see the seed inside, really beautiful. It's lovely to be able to explore my creative side, and I can feel it developing. Two Norwegian chaps set up a, a knitting project and so I started doing that and it was absolutely blissful to be able to do that sit down at nine o'clock in the morning if I wanted to knitting and nobody to criticize and nothing else to do no reason why I shouldn't do it and there was another project actually two ladies put it up that was knitting and crochet I decided I'd do both and I think they might turn into cushion covers when I work out how to attach the backs it's been lovely having the time to do it without you know, fitting it round my other activities. Isolation. Well, before lockdown, I would have thought it meant being locked up in a single cell in a prison. But now, isolation means it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means being on your own. 